Yes? Roll the footage. What do you like it? The color design, plus I like the uh, how the knife is shaped, the blade. You're getting better. Do the opening. You got it. Yeah. Anna, do you like this knife? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, is it cool? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Sick. Hey, are you coming tonight? Still fuck somebody up? No, I'm going to an art show. Alright. Nope, hit my knuckles. There goes a the finger. Alright, Anna. Close. <laughs> it counts. I will say that my favorite thing about the Prodigy was the blade style and the way it looked. And that's probably my favorite thing about the Rhapsody, to be honest. <laughs> Jerry claims that he fixed the pinching problem with the horns and I never really had that issue. The main prodigy that I did in fact flip was modded by CMF anyways, so the horns weren't an issue. But on my other carbon fiber basilisk, the horns were an issue, so I can see how people would get mad at that. I think that the blade type and the thought and effort that he put into this trainer, personally, makes me like Jerry a lot more. I already liked him a lot because of the titanium home, but honestly, thank you, Jerry. This thing's tight. It'd be really nice though if like all knives came pre latchless but you know, beggars can't be choosers. That's a wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm blogging 2017. Now the bare bones trainer comes in at a whopping 5.21 ounces. That's the V2 I'm talking about, not the V1. The V1 is 5.86 ounces. On his website, home just says it's around five ounces. I don't really know. All I care about is that it you know, if it flips well or if it doesn't flip well. Speaking of which, one thing that was improved on the Rhapsody was the durability. That's my understanding that the best style of Rhapsody to cop is the brushed stainless, or brushed titanium version because it withstands beating the best. That was one of those at the Blade 2017 house and I didn't know that until today. But if you're looking to cop one, I suggest getting the unanodized version because it withstands beating and it will retain your market value. <clears throat> Much like the heights of this building, Jerry Home has reached the heights of ballet song craftsmanship. One thing that really shows the quality that Jerry puts into his knives is the fact that he weighed out this trainer blade to be the exact same weight as a blade of the same shape, but with a hollow grind on it. My camera won't focus, but Jerry, just know your effort is duly noted. Duly noted. My favorite part about the website is the fact that he says that there are lateral indentations in the grip for lateral grip control. I just love the way it was worded. Another example of why Jerry is such a... I thought you were going to Guar. Many would ask why a trainer. I've already covered that so many times on this channel that I'm just not, I'm just not gonna say it any, again. Kimberly, it's so fun. It's like 11 p.m. I'm drinking, you know, some Starbucks cold brew, which is by default, from like a corporate standpoint, my favorite coffee. But I was asked what kind of coffee I drink and why I only drink black coffee. And the answer is, I like my coffee like I like my men, black and strong. I'll be honest, I'll come clean, you got me. There's not enough fucking rear bias, okay? It's a very neutral knife. It flips very nicely. It feels really good. Here's some footage. Okay, yeah, you see see it flips nice. You see it flipping nice, I know, I know. It looks amazing, aesthetically it's pleasing. It's a great price point, but there's not enough rear bias for me. I'll be honest. The Home, Titanium Home Basilisk R is amazing, okay? It is literally one of my favorite knives to flip, but it also has gigantic, gigantic spacers in it. And I know that there was something at Blade 2017 where he kind of switched out the the like types of blades, I think. I think Sir Billion was talking about that in his initial review. I'd have to check my math on that. No, but seriously, man, like what was your favorite trainer in 2017? You squid B2 guy? The thing that impresses me the most about this trainer overall is the just the play, like there is 
that is out of box play after a week and a half, give or take, of flipping it. It is ridiculous how well this knife is tuned. Like, Jerry, dude, why aren't all knives like this? Like, I don't get it. But for coming out in 2017, a lot of people talk a lot of shit on new knives as they come out. And to be honest, this knife is, it's golden. It really lives up to the hype and it lives up to the predecessors of this knife. Like, this is a great improvement on the Prodigy. I do appreciate that the holes in the handles were added for reduced weight and flippability. It is, like I said, a neutral knife, and I'm sure some people would say that it isn't and that there is plenty of rear bias, but like I said, it is subjective, and it does carry its weight. I may have overstated the lack of a rear bias, but I really enjoy this knife. Like, the balance on it is superb, and I think that is attributed to the amazing blade type. Like, just look at how sick this blade type is. <clears throat> I honestly do wish the spine was crowned, which I'll probably have modded. I keep dropping this thing. The The lack of a rear bias almost makes it a little blocky, if that makes sense, like, like right there. Like, that could have come over a lot easier. I don't know. I'm not really used to flipping it. I flipped it for about a week and a half now, among other knives, obviously. So I think that, like, if you spent enough... Just please answer me one question, and just, just one question. You've been making knives for years. You've been inspiring and cultivating and just taking care of this burgeoning knife, like subculture, this, this knife community that is such a part of our hearts. So why? Why? Why fucking tang pins? Just like, please, just. Some screen time, bro. What's up? What's up, Vinesh? What's up, Nivers? We are the Nivers. All right, everyone, instead of this episode roasting me in the comments, roast Tyler in the comments. He's fat, he's white, he's balding, but he's got that fucking thing that matters.